One day I was just, I noticed that I was coughing a lot and that I was really tired. So I went to the doctor one day and they said, you have TB. I can't get TB. It's TB from forks and knives. All it takes is one cough. I live in a nice neighborhood. I definitely never thought that it would happen to me, but, you know, I can't go back, erase it, and make it never have happened. Time went on and I found out that I had TB. What do you mean I have TB disease? Somebody at my job got TB. It even so became hard to even breathe. And then telling me I had TB, I, I don't know, I was just really scared. But, you know, talking to the doctor, talking to the nurse and the counselor, they kind of cleared me up on it. You know, they let me know the difference between being infected and, and, and having a disease. Tuberculosis, commonly called TB, is once again a major health problem. It can be contagious. It can damage your body. And if not treated, it can kill you. But it's important to understand that TB can be prevented, treated, and cured. To protect yourself against TB, learn the facts. Hi, I'm Louis Dodley. Between 10 and 15 million Americans have TB infection, and about 10% of them may develop the disease. To understand tuberculosis, it's essential to understand the difference between TB infection and TB disease. People with TB infection are not sick. They cannot spread the disease to others. People with active TB disease are sick. They can spread the disease to others. And if not treated, they can become seriously ill. The word tuberculosis puts fear in people's minds, raises questions, and causes confusion. How do you find out if you have TB? Well, what are the symptoms for TB? Yeah, I heard about it, but I really don't know what it is. And every time I get on the bus and someone sneezes, I get scared. I mean, someone at my office would actually get the disease? I didn't even know it existed. TB can be traced to ancient times. And just a few decades ago, it was the number one killer of adults in the United States. The only weapons were fresh air, sunshine, and long-term bed rest. But with new drugs, TB was conquered, or so it seemed. Today, TB is staged a comeback. If you read only the headlines, you may be alarmed. Every day, healthcare workers counsel people. They administer the TB skin test to determine if a person is infected with TB, and they answer the most often asked questions, like, how do you get TB? TB is a disease caused by bacteria that spread through the air. The bacteria gets into the air when someone who has active TB disease coughs or speaks or sneezes. If you spend a lot of time around that person, you can breathe in the bacteria and get infected with TB. Most people get infected from close day-to-day -day contact with a family member, friend, or a coworker who has the active disease. My boyfriend Troy got the TB disease, and I don't know how he got it, but I got exposed to it, and the people from the health department told me that I should take this skin test to find out what was up, and I did, and it was positive, and I freaked, and I didn't want to tell my family at all, but the people at the health department really helped me out and made me feel so much better. Cindy thought she got infected by sharing her boyfriend's dishes or using his towels. These beliefs are based on myths. You don't get TB by one single cough. You don't get TB by sharing the same household utensils or sitting on a toilet seat. TB is spread through the air by a person with TB disease who is coughing the infectious <coughs> TB bacteria into the air. Cindy spent a lot of time with her boyfriend while he was contagious. She got the infection by breathing in TB bacteria. It is essential to understand what TB infection is. People with TB infection have breathed in the bacteria and have them in their bodies. However, these bacteria are inactive. It's like they're sleeping. After TB bacteria enter the body, Body defenses control the bacteria by building a wall around them the way a scab forms over a cut. The bacteria can stay alive inside these walls, but they are not active. While they are not active, the bacteria can't do damage to the body, and they don't make you sick. This is TB infection. Come on in, Cindy. Okay. 
People who just have TB infection cannot spread the bacteria to others. How are you doing today? I'm all right, how are you? Okay, how's Troy? He's doing great. Cindy is taking medicine to prevent TB disease from developing. This is preventive treatment. Now she comes to the clinic once a month to get her supply of medicine and for a checkup. Well, I've been taking this stuff for like two months now. Right. Every you, day, you've been doing I've been good. really good. The Department of Health assured her everything would be absolutely confidential and they would help her complete her treatment. Ms. Hannigan, the nurse was just telling me that... Most people who have TB infection do not develop the disease, but some people have a greater risk of developing TB disease. That's why we recommend some people with TB infection take medicine to prevent TB disease from developing. It's called preventive treatment. I decided to take the preventive treatment like they suggested, and I know I'm not going to get the disease. If people do not take preventive treatment or they have a weakened immune system, they may develop TB disease. But what is TB disease? TB disease develops when body defenses cannot keep the bacteria inside the walls they have built around them. The TB bacteria break out of the walls, begin multiplying, and can damage the lungs or other organs. TB disease can make you very sick, and if it goes untreated, it can kill you. People with active TB disease can have any of the following symptoms. Cough for more than three weeks, fever, chills, night sweats, fatigue, decreased appetite, chest pain, coughing up blood, and weight loss. I noticed I was coughing a lot and that I was really tired, so I went to the doctor one day and they said, you have TB. Cecilia had a chest x-ray and a medical evaluation. She found out she had TB disease. And next thing I know, I'm feeling really bad, you know? And I turn around and I'm in the hospital. I didn't even feel like a good mother at that point. And I just didn't want to look at it, that I could actually be sick and and that I could die. Now Cecilia is taking medicine. She's no longer contagious, and soon she'll be cured of TB. Not all people are at risk for being infected with TB, but some people are and should get a TB skin test. It's called a PPD. It's important to know who's at risk and who should be tested. Who did you say should be tested? Anyone who has close day-to-day -day contact with a person with active TB disease should get PPD skin tested. Others who should also be tested are those with HIV infection or other conditions that weaken the immune system, people who inject drugs, the foreign born from areas of the world where TB is common, and people who live in long-term care facilities such as nursing homes, shelters, and correctional facilities. Your doctor can give you the test or you can go to your local Department of Health. You've got to do everything you can in order to keep well. My friend Bob, he's like a brother to me, you know, and he convinced me to go get this TB test. And I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. So a while ago, I found out I was HIV positive. Then I found out I had TB infection. Let me tell you, it was a lot to deal with. But then I found out I could take some medicine and that would help me stay healthy. Word, that's what I did. The fact is, TB is back and it's once again a serious public health issue. If you think you're at risk, get a TB skin test. With today's medicine, TB is preventable and curable. Now that I know the facts, I know that I can get better. I'm taking the preventive treatment and I know I'm gonna be just fine. But now that I got all the facts, I'm glad I got tested. <laughs>